Okay, sorry guys about that. I don't know what's wrong with Google Hangout things. It says that like, our live show ended when I did not put an end time to it. But um, we're back, so we're going to just pick up. That's all that matters. Yeah, that's <laughs> all that matters. So uh, I think we left off when we are talking about the um, book of the month for next month, which is October. Yeah. Um, we'll be um, announcing that later on in this live show, but stay tuned because we'll be announcing it, but not right yet. It so is going to be appropriate for the month of October. It'll be fun. Yes. Ah. Okay, so, so um, I'm just going to tweet out the link for the <laughs> Oh, yeah. Good idea. But in the meantime, what were we talking about before? Well, we were just talking to ourselves. <laughs> we were talking about um, the religion. Fear, fear oh, yeah. and religion and fear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, not, just to reiterate what I said in private, <laughs> um, the other thing I really, really liked about this book, about the world, was the religion in the novel. I thought that was really, really interesting. Like, all the references to, like, the old world, like, him being, like, flipping coins and that being a relic, or, like, references to, like, video game controllers and weird stuff like that. I thought that was super cool. And I wish there was, like, more information about the structure of the religion LeBlanc was in, because I thought that made his character so interesting. But I wanted more. What you guys yeah, think? I, I definitely wanted more of a lot of things in this. Like, I do, what I did like a lot is um, whenever they're talking about some of the relics and, like, something mm -hmm. from, like, the ancients, like, us as yeah. ancients, I always try to figure out what they were talking about. Like, they were talking about a CD once, yeah. and I was like, and oh, that's a CD! Yeah, they described it, like, how it looked and not saying, like, a CD. I thought that was cool. Yeah. I, was, I thought that was really cool. But yeah, like, I wish we could follow LeBlanc into, like, one of his religious meetings, and there's, like, initiation night, like, mm -hmm. new recruits. Yeah, oh, my God. So I could just learn about it. And not that I'm interested in joining, but like I just want like <laughs> the so lore. Like, <laughs> like <fine. so> I. <laughs> I know, that'd be so cool. Uh, um, oh, but yeah, we all talked about spear, right? Yeah, spear. Like, so, spear and the love triangle. Uh yeah, like it wasn't a love triangle, but it was yeah. like I liked that it was not a love triangle. Yeah, me too. I'm not a fan of love triangles. I yeah. like love triangles when they're done well, but if they're not done well, it just makes me like wanna like Yeah. Give it a stink eye. And I liked how Sophia, like, she never, like, once really reciprocated the feeling. She never went through that, oh, I love Renee, I love Spear, yeah. I love Renee, I love Spear. And I really liked that. I thought that was refreshing. She was like, I love Renee. Like, yeah, she was like, I thought that was very refreshing in the, yeah. like, a protagonist, a female um, character. I thought that oh, was great. something I want to, can I just, like, make a point? I'm saying I yeah. forget if you will. So, one thing I liked about her, it's Sophia, right? Yeah. Oh my God, I just want to make sure. <laughs> um, Sophia, what I liked about her was that she wasn't, like, just a like just straight like through like strong character yeah she like was had her weaknesses and it was so obvious what her weaknesses were she was a normal girl and you could totally tell that yeah she has some like skills that she could be the red book with but she was also like i can easily see like how she was a normal girl before and she still kind of is you know she has like a new persona in a way yeah and i love that yeah i like mm -hmm. yeah i really liked her character in all i thought she was very strong and independent but then she also like had her faults, like yeah, like thinking she could do things. Like, oh, I'm sorry, you glitched. Oh, no, 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 I was <laughs> oh, I no, was gonna I was... say like, I also really liked her relationship with her brother. Like, I pre I liked that they had like a strong familial bond, and, you know, like brother sister, and they're like looking out for each other and they're supportive of each other. I really liked that. You know, who I didn't like though, who annoyed me throughout the whole book, was. Oh. Like I know I like I like that it wasn't a love triangle, but he was so annoying to me. Right. Like. I didn't horrible like but he was you, kind of like obsessed with her he was very like you didn't notice how strong it was yeah you didn't yeah. i didn't notice how strong his feelings were and how like kind of like it was very subtle in the beginning yeah it was very then, subtle and it, you can see yeah. like when he's like you can see that she obviously wants to have children and just like want to live with me and it's, and like, it's like no oh, okay. <laughs> like, not what she wants then, like, you know her <laughs> yeah and then i was like he was like super selfish because when he he did two things that really bothered me one like, he accepted that, you know, Renee was a good person and that he, uh, she loved him and yet tried to kill him still <laughs> like, yeah, at the yeah. end of the book. And then the other one was, um, when he, he forged that document and basically lied to her about Renee's, like, intentions and stuff. He essentially almost sent her to her death. Like, I thought maybe he was working for LeBlanc or something. I was like, what is yeah, he I thought that. I thought, yeah, that. I thought, I thought that, that, too. Yeah. I totally I'm thought like, that would have been so yeah. good. I would really love that if he actually was working for LeBlanc. Like, that would have been a great plot twist. Yeah, no, he was just a douchebag. Like <laughs> yeah, he was. Oh, my God. But, like, I feel like LeBlanc, like, um... 
I'm like, Trace was telling me how he, he was, like, a really good a villain, but, or yeah. something, like, I, like, I could see he's how very he's very interesting okay. villain. He was interesting, but honestly, I felt like he was a little, like, just, like, off, like, not off in the way that you want a villain to be in. I don't know, it just, like, he seemed evil, but then again, it feels like if I go up to him, like, push him, like, you just fall over because he's, like, a wimp. So, like, I, I don't know, he didn't feel that evil to me. Yeah, well, I think he's, like, a different kind of evil, which is kind of can be interesting if done well. Like, there's, like, the like the evil people that are really strong and, like, definitely win in a fight. But then there's the creepy people that are, like, unassumingly diabolical, you know what I mean? Like, you wouldn't, because they look so weak, you wouldn't expect them to do anything to you because you can feel like you can take them. Point, like, when he killed the leader of the revolution, he basically, like, he was, he got beat up and then killed the guy with deadly poison. I don't know, I kind of liked him. I liked that he was off and definitely kind of crazy, especially with his religion. I thought that was interesting. He yeah. wasn't like, my favorite villain of all time. I'm, like, grabbing my book with my favorite villain right now. Oh, I was just thinking about mine. Hey. <laughs> oh, I want to read that so bad. Oh, it's so good. So good. Outlander, it's Jack Randall. Horrible person. <laughs> Who's your favorite um, villain? Jack Randall from Outlander. He's... Oh my god, he's I awful. I've it. never read Outlander. Me I either. also really like the villain in Vicious. Well, I really like the characters in Vicious, too. This is sidetracking. I'm sorry. I just have my books next to me, and I'm just trying to... I know, we do, too. Like, yeah. We have books, like, all over here. Like, it's really nice. We have a shared book now. <laughs> <Bonding. laughs> but yeah, I, I thought it was an interesting villain. He wasn't my favorite, but I, I liked his character. He was definitely up there as one of my favorite characters in the book. I found it interesting that he, like, he depended on his religion and fortune and stuff to yeah. get him through like the events in the book when usually a lot of villains are very like self motivated and they think he was motivated by the freaking coin. Yeah, and he was motivated by this fortune god like character, which I thought was interesting. That was that was cool. I definitely could see like it was really neat how he did that. And um yeah. but I felt like if he would like didn't know what he wanted to eat. For like dinner, he would, like you yeah. like okay, yeah. goddess, tell me what I shall eat for dinner. Do I eat the mac and cheese or do I eat the pasta? Yeah. Super cereal, flip on oh, it. Like, one. Super salad, super salad, super salad. Super salad. Um, that sounds good. Sorry, I haven't had dinner yet. I'm hungry. <laughs> we were I have a random question that's completely unrelated to this, but I'm just curious and I want to ask you before I forget. Mm -hmm. Do you guys live in, like, an interesting dorm in a downtown, like, downtown? Do you guys have dining halls, or, like, how do you yeah, get your food? Yeah, uh, but we don't like going to it, because we have to no. walk, like, to down three buildings, oh my god, to go to the dining hall. But also, hall. it's just not that nice. <laughs> it's, it's, like, not the yeah. best dining hall, so we go to the cafe downstairs. Yeah, there's a cafe. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, I had that. I didn't have a cafe. I had to walk to my dining hall, too, which was a bummer, but anyway, yeah. that was just... Yeah. No, the, I I, I, this is my question. I feel like I get that quite often. Just like, how far do you have to walk to go to places? I'm like, it's very close. Everything's very, very close. close yeah. Well, just, I can relate to that. I mean, I go to UT. I, I live in Austin. I, I live in downtown Austin, like my school. But it's still kind of because the university has been is like really old. I know yours is probably pretty old too, but it's not like Austin's not like Boston. You know what I mean? It's Boston's much bigger. So I just didn't know. They rhyme though. <laughs> Um, your door was also like crazy. I totally watched your dorm tour. You have that big living space. Yeah, like, yeah it's really it's so amazing. cool. Yeah, and we have so a book cool. up there now too, and it's like almost lit up with all of my books. I'm so sorry, yeah. guys. No, do you, have, do you have do you have communal bathrooms or do you have to share a bathroom? Um, we share a bathroom with everyone in our suite, which is oh, sick people. Yeah, that's not that's not bad. No, no, I thought it was going to be a lot worse, but it's actually like really, really nice. That yeah, you don't have to have like a whole floor share a bathroom. It's just. Yeah. I just noticed that you're sitting in the middle of two chairs, Teresa. <laughs> it's pretty comfortable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah, like, um, honestly, like, I don't know if we got this in the last um, bit of live show since it's, like, part two of the live show. But um, we are talking about um, how if there was a part, um, if there was a, like, second book in this series, oh, yeah. would we read it? I personally wouldn't. I would. <laughs> I don't I know. I feel bad. But, like, I don't feel like, bad. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> I, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd read it either. Like, I just don't, like, as much as I liked it, I didn't love it enough to, like, want to see where the characters are going next, if anything is even happening, because it felt pretty complete, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah, if it, if it was, like, a series, though, like, and it was meant to be a series, I think I would definitely pick up the second one. Yeah. I thought it wasn't going to be, because, honestly, like, you don't see these books that often, and they're only one book. Like I really like Stan Lee. Yeah. 
stand, if the standalone can be like really well done and it's not like contemporary, it's like has like a, like a really crappy society that they need to figure out what to do with it by the end of the like one book. I give them props that they do it, and you know it yeah. did look. Well, like one of my favorite books I've read this year is The Walled City by Ryan. Oh. I'm by myself again. They lost connection. Okay, I guess I will answer some questions by myself. Um, Megan also asked if you guys like little Easter eggs where the author would reference modern items like video game controllers. I did a lot. In fact, that was probably one of my favorite little parts of the plot. Like, I thought it was really cool and neat. And I don't know, I always think it's cool when worlds reference other stuff like that. I think it's really cool. Sasha is coming back. Okay, sorry. Our wi we're it's getting so a we're bad. in the current process of finding a Wi-Fi box to like support our live shows. <laughs> oh god. Our Wi-Fi box. <laughs> no, but I hope Reagan was entertaining you guys. <laughs> I was like, let's go to the questions. <laughs> oh my dog. Being hot messes. Oh, 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 you? oh, okay, you're back. Okay, so what else do you guys want to chat about, about the book? Oh, I don't, like, I don't, like, I thought it was a good book. Um, yeah. I, like, it's not one of those books that I would have so much to say about it that, like, it would fill up, like, a full review. Um, exactly. I enjoyed it. I did not love it, but I thought, like, I would recommend it to somebody who likes, like, kind of, unique takes on history in the past yeah, and the future. Definitely, definitely. Definitely because there's not many books like that out there. So like honestly, um would I recommend it to people? Yes, but only a certain crowd of readers who would enjoy it. Mm -hmm. How about you guys? Yeah, I, I I would definitely recommend it to people who I knew liked historical fiction. Mm -hmm. And if they wanted like something sort of like different. Um but yeah, I mean it was good. I liked it. I thought it was good. Mm -hmm. No, I, I yeah it's definitely on a book like I could do a full review on like Sasha said I just don't have enough like feeling about it yeah but I mean like if some if like literally someone like described their interest like you mentioned like it would be something it's easily recommendable because it wasn't like it was a bad book it just didn't totally gel with me like I really wanted it to so yeah but I feel like it had a lot of potential and I feel like this is a debut I could be wrong I think it um, might I've never I don't think uh, I don't know oh, it might say in the jacket Where's my jacket? Where'd I put your jacket? It's okay. I'll find it later. <laughs> oh, it's over there. On top of her. Oh, no, this is not her debut novel. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Awkward. <laughs> um, but what I'm saying is a lot of potential in there, a lot of interesting world building. So, like, I definitely would, if, like, the, if she wrote another book with the plot that interests me, I'd probably pick it up. So. I liked her style. And I like the, um, the style of the third person narrative, but switching perspectives of characters. I thought that was awesome. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I love that part because honestly, um, I can read books when it's like a good like first person narrative. Like I don't mind that. But if it's done well with like multiple characters narratives, yeah. I love that. I really like it. And they did a pretty good job with this. Like, I think she did a, like an awesome job. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. definitely. Um, I have the book club um book of the month up on my phone. Um, it's currently in the process, this book, actually, of changing its cover. And I know what the cover looks like, but I can't say what it is or show anybody. I'm so excited for her. I guess it didn't use a book. <laughs> I honestly I think like it's the one before is a good one, but I think this next one is even better because it's yeah. so good. I cannot wait to show people, but I cannot show them yet. It's gonna be premiere on um Entertainment Weekly, the website there, so stay tuned for that. But I, I feel like I've been giving away what the book is. Should we announce it? Yeah, let's go ahead. Okay, so the book club book of the month for October, our Halloween book is Hollywood Witch Hunter mm -hmm. by Val Tejeda. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this because I've actually read the book, um, but I'm rereading it because when I did read it, um, I was in, I was transitioning from packing for college, then I took like a three week break in the middle of reading it. And then like, um, I finally finished off and I'm like, well, I didn't feel like I got the full experience of the book. So we're gonna go back and I'm gonna read it again. And it's Reagan's first first time reading it. Yeah. Reading it's it my too. first time reading it too. So. I'm really excited too because like, um, what is it? I went to her launch party in LA actually because it was right during VidCon. I like heard her talk about it and mm -hmm. something she said like made me so excited about it. She basically was like, 
So in the book, there's like a lot of different types of witches, and she's basically said that she got her inspiration from X Men and like all their different powers and stuff. And yeah. I love X Men, so if you're gonna combine witches and X Men to me, like I'm sold. So I'm very, I'm very excited, and I hear like it's a really fun, like playful read with like yeah. some really cool kick ass, oh kick butt. Kick <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Um, it's yeah, it's really good, and like plus like um. It's a great Halloween book, and um, I think Reagan and I both, like, we're talking about what book we wanted, because, like, honestly, Brooke was not a heavy book to read, like, it wasn't a lot of stuff, but, like, it was quite long, it wasn't long, but, like, for a book club book, like, we want to keep it on the shorter length so people have time to read it, like, we actually extended this book for another month just because I hadn't read it, and, like, we hadn't, like, had time to read it, so it's really nice that we have um, Hollywood Witch Hunter, it's, um, like, 300 pages or so, okay. and um, it's really fun quick awesome read and it's an ebook only right now um it's coming out in paperback very soon um but i'm not sure if it's gonna be um like in paperback when we do the um do the read along but you can get it on any um ebook and it's a uh, audiobook too well and that's the other thing that's good because it's ebook only like it's pretty cheap isn't it only yeah. is it only like a couple like two or three dollars or something yeah, and so. I, they probably are going to be, like, dropping the price for Halloween or something, so who knows? And, like, yeah. Belle is totally on board with this. She's so excited. So uh, stay tuned for all the fun stuff that's going to be um, coming with this. It's going to be really awesome. We're really excited. Yes! Yeah. Yes! Yes! Uh, yes. <laughs> and I think yeah. we should, like, theme our <laughs> next live show for Halloween theme. Yeah, we should totally okay. dress up. That'd be so fun. And, obviously, we'll announce the actual live show date a little later on, be it in a video and also, like, on our Goodreads page. Just like this video, uh, time kind of changed last minute, but we updated the Goodreads page. So if you ever like wanted to be on the know on anything, like all the time, Goodreads page or Goodreads. Twitter. But it'll be down below. Instagram. Definitely go follow the Goodreads because that's where we like really um, reach out to you guys most because that's um, where like, the biggest audience is for our read along group. So definitely go join it. It'll be down below and um go ahead yourself it's really funny you get to talk with all these amazing book lovers on there as well about the same books yeah each. and us too and uh, it's fun so much fun <laughs> <laughs> okay so like uh any last thoughts on rook um any better maybe like <laughs> oh you're like oh, uh, i'm a spot uh, to be uh, reading yeah i want to reiterate the star rating Reiterate what? 4.5 stars. Oh. I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. I would maybe, mm, yeah, 3 out of 5 stars. I gave it like 3, 3.5. Three that half star is because I just really loved the world so much, but like plot, it was like 3 stars. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I just got, um, somebody just tweeted me. Thank you, Allie. Um, she said that um, uh, the Hollywood Witch Hunter book is only 99 cents right now, so go get it for Ooh. next month. 99 <laughs> cents, guys. We are bargain hunting for you and us, because I'm You're solid. welcome. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, so, laughs> I'm just checking to see if there's any other, um, oh. <laughs> so he's like, are you coming back on, or is the live show over? I'm like, we're back <laughs> on. Sorry about that. Um. <laughs> Yeah, so um, the next live show will be more put together. Don't worry. We're still getting, like, used to all this stuff um, because this is our first live show ever for the Cruise Utopia Book Club. We're super excited to be doing this for you guys, though, because we really wanted to do something that will get you guys involved with reading with us. And Reagan and I have a lot in common with books, so we're like, yeah, perfect this is. <laughs> Clearly, we gave the book we both read the same rating. So, like, yeah, generally, we <laughs> It's, like, creepy. Like, we didn't even talk about the book together, like, up until right now. So it's, like, yeah. we had to give it the same rating. <laughs> Okay, so thank you for being here, Teresa. She'll be oh, in, like, a lot it. of my videos. She's already been in, like, tons of my videos, so. I might slide in on the next Yeah, she's like, so. hey, guys. <laughs> I live here. Oh, well, like, um, <laughs> yeah. I think one way is better anyway, so. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm so exhausted, but I'm about to go to Red Sox game. So thank you all for watching. Thank you, Reagan, for being here on my channel. Um, uh, her, the live show may be on her channel next time. So make sure you stay tuned for like information like that on the Goodreads page. Thank you, Teresa, for yeah. being here. <laughs> and I think that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.